Hi, Larry Brink here with the Society of American Military Swordsmanship. And today, it looks like my uh, new Cold Steel Model 1860 Heavy Cavalry Saber just came in. Let's go ahead and open up and do a quick uh, review. So, as you can see, it comes nicely packaged. Here's their Cold Steel British Proof Test. Obviously, uh, this one Looks like was uh, tested uh, 27 May, a couple of, so the sword's a couple of years old. But as you can see, if you've seen any of their uh, Gold Steel videos, I'm um, sure you can go to their site, uh, you can see a lot of videos showing their uh, proof tests, which they're extensively tested. So let's go ahead and take it out of the package and uh, see how it feels. All right, now we got the swords out of the box, and as you can see, both the scabbard and the... Uh sword itself here comes with its own uh, separate packaging. The first thing I noticed right off the bat is that this scabbard, the size of the scabbard, it's a beast. And just to uh, give a comparison here, this is a cold steel marine NCO sword. And uh, you can see the size difference between the two here. So, and also for comparison, I also have here the uh, in 1902, my cold steel, and you can see it absolutely dwarfs the 1902. This is this is a beast of a sword. And for the sword itself, looks like also there's another bag that specifically goes over the hilt. And inside that bag looks like is the leather washer that goes on. And we'll go ahead and. Uh, Take the, uh, it looks like the tip here also has a, uh, some sort of plastic protective covering on it as well. Obviously, that uh, looks like it poked through, obviously. <laughs> uh, without that covering there, it might go through the box. Looks like it's very sharp. So, we'll go ahead and we'll take the uh, plastic off of the blade as well. All right. Now well, we got this out of the plastic. Go ahead and uh, see how she feels. And this one thing I noticed right off the bat is this truly is a beast. Uh, Cold Steel's uh, model 1860 Heavy Cavalry Saber, which actually on a note, um, I know Cold Steel they calls this the 1860 the old uh, wrist breaker. The problem with that is that the old wrist breaker actually was a nickname given to the model 1840 Heavy Cavalry Saber. The model 1860 was actually a light cavalry saber designed to replace the old wrist breaker 1840. So uh, just a note to Cold Steel, um, you might want to uh, adjust the name to the 1840, which actually uh, the hilt on the 1840 is not that much different than the 1860. So it would probably be more historically accurate to market this as the 1840 heavy cavalry saber. But anyway, moving on. Um, looking at the blade, obviously it's a beast of a saber. Uh, so you can take a look at the blade profile here. Very thick blade. Now Cult of Athena is very good. Uh, if you've ever been on their site, they list a lot of uh, specifications, lengths, weights, points of balance, and they're really fairly accurate on, on their data here. Um, this particular uh, blade here According to Cult of Athena, comes in a thickness of 8.6 millimeters, which I independently verified. Uh, I measured about the same here. And uh, looking at the uh, the distal taper here, you can see it tapers down fairly well. And Cult of Athena shows it tapering from 8.6 millimeters to about 3.2 millimeters, which is which is which is not not too shabby here. Um, like I said, this is a heavy cavalry saber, so the point of balance is going to be a little uh, further from the hilt on this. Uh, this particular saber is about seven, I measured it at seven and a half inches, which is expected. Uh, as for cavalry sabers, you're not going to do a lot of dismounted fighting with these. I mean, you're going to be riding at a full gallop here, and I can easily see uh, soldiers during the uh, Civil War uh, easily taking heads with these. This thing, this thing, I can imagine, uh, will hit like a beast. Uh, maybe later on I'll try doing some uh, cutting with this and maybe post uh, some videos later on. But overall, this, is, this video is intended to be a first impression uh, review of the 
I'm going to call this the 1840, so I'm going to be a little more historically accurate. You know, Cold Steel's 1860, but as far as I'm concerned, this is the 1840 Heavy Calorie Saver. Um, if you like our videos, please subscribe. And until then, I'm Larry Brent with the Society of American Military Swordsmanship.